So there's been a bit of a bit of a scandal here in the British Isles. It's uh, extending worldwide, though, and it involves a footballer called Kurt Zuma, who comes from a a footballing family. He has two brothers who are also footballers of some talent, I believe. Anyway, what uh, what happened was that there was a, a video upload uploaded to the internet and it showed Kurt Zuma laughing hysterically as he drops a cat, uh, the family pet, uh, to the kitchen floor and then, still cackling with laughter, he kicks it. Now, right from the start, um, I, I have to state that this is an inexcusable piece of abuse. I, I might have said that it was a good thing that a uh, few days after the story broke, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the RSPCA, came and took the cats away. Except that the RSPCA is in itself a horrible organisation uh, that has been guilty of all sorts of underhand and... Um, a politically motivated te things. So um, I'm not entirely sure the cat's in good hands, but well, there you are. That's uh, that's the RSPCA. So anyway, I think Zuma should get more than our disapproval, but possibly not for the things the newspapers and the broadcasting companies are actually talking about. And uh, in my opinion, it's not animal cruelty, but child cruelty that he should be uh, being um, castigated for. But this is the problem. Uh, he was very, very nasty to a cat. And everybody is concentrating on this particular incident where there was a child involved as well. And nobody's talking about that. It just shows what the, <laughs> the West has to do with animals and children. So let's separate a few things out here. The first thing is, this guy is a hefty sort of chap and a um, very good footballer with a mean kick. And if he wanted to damage that cat physically, he could have done so. It very much looks as if the cat wasn't physically injured, which means that Zuma was pulling his punch or his kick. Uh, and... Um, he seems to have kicked the cat with, I'm not showing any of the videos, by the way, he seems to have kicked the cat with the inside of his foot. A kick that did send the cat a short distance, but nothing that a cat couldn't handle. I'm not saying it was good. Don't start, you know, I, I, I don't kick cats and I disapprove of that. Um, but it's, it's quite true that he was terrifying the animal rather than damaging its body. And and that's that's not good either. <laughs> you have to be so careful about what you say, don't you? Because people who want to take the wrong end of the stick, they they will twist themselves into pretzels to get round your back to get hold of the wrong end of the stick. Ah, anyway, does that make his behaviour more excusable, that he was only terrifying the cat? Of course it doesn't. It was a despicable exercise of power over a weaker creature. I was going to say that it was a despicable exercise of power over a less intelligent creature, but frankly, it doesn't seem to me that Zuma was showing any intelligence more than a cat, or his brother, by the way, because... They, I mean, just to show how unutterably stupid both of them actually are, is that they actually filmed this. Zuma says he uh, he was uh, punishing the cat because it had broken a vase or something. But if he was so annoyed with the cat, why was he laughing that way? Uh, you you can find it on the internet, so you you'll see what I mean. Uh, but they they um filmed this act of crass nastiness and thought it was such a hoot that they uploaded the video of it to YouTube. Now, as a matter of fact, I, I have to uh, point something out about Zuma. 
And this is something that nobody brought up until I, I started checking it out. OK, first of all, he's a Frenchman. And secondly, he's a Muslim. Now, this doesn't mean quite uh, what, what you uh, may be thinking. I meaning because Muslims have very great regard for cats. So I don't know why the Muslim society is. And um, Muhammad himself, apparently, there are stories of him carrying cats around in his robes. He, he had such an affection for them. So I don't know why the Muslim authorities here in Britain, who are so quick to make uh, a fuss about people uh, talking nasty about Muslims, why they aren't saying that this is a this guy is a disgrace to their religion because he is he's a disgrace to France as well. And uh, apparently the Brigitte Bardot Foundation has uh, started a fuss. Now, the interesting thing is the Brigitte Bardot Foundation started the fuss and then Essex police went into action. They didn't go into action before uh, the, uh, the, the French animal rights campaign um, erupted into action. And this guy appeared to have absolutely no appreciation for the iniquity of his behaviour. And he thought it wasn't only quite acceptable, but very funny. And both his background and his upbringing should have told him that what he did, even if he did it, is not something he should have posted on the internet. And this is where I get to uh, my own point of serious annoyance. He thought that terrifying a dumb animal in that way was so acceptable that he was teaching it to a small child. I'm assuming the child's face was blurred out, but I'm assuming that child was one of his children. At one point... This child, who I can't really see, but probably about seven years old, somewhere between six and eight anyway, I suppose that this child has the cat in his arms, picks, uh, so he's holding it, and then he puts it on, he tries to put it on the table so that his father, I'm assuming it's his father, so that his father can slap it some more. And uh, and as I say, Zuma or his brother who's filming it, uh, one of them is laughing all the time. So and nobody is talking about the way that man was teaching his child to mistreat animals. Nobody's saying that. Bridget Vardot Foundation, uh, the animal cruelty, Essex Police, animal cruelty. RSPCA, animal cruelty. I believe that Zuma was booed when he, uh, you know, the, the football club uh, put, he was uh, playing a game shortly after this story broke and he was booed by the, um, by the spectators. Were they booing him about the child or the cat? Well, the cat. Obviously, this is the attitude we have now. I, that cat should not have been mistreated. But he was corrupting a small child. And I think it really rather peculiar that the newspapers have concentrated on Zuma kicking a cat without commenting in the least. You know, it's sort of, nobody is mentioning it of the damage he was doing to that child. Well, anyway, that's my take on it. I am Granny Opterix. I am on uh, YouTube. Rumble, <laughs> Bitchute and Minds. I want to ask you to click the like button, uh, to check your subscription, especially if you're subscribed on YouTube, because subscriptions seem to drop out without the subscribers uh, knowledge. And um, yeah, support the channel if you feel like it. Oh, and share, share the video. OK, till next time.